The internet has so much quality content that most of us who don't own a 30-inch display on our PCs feel a bit bummed out that we are watching it on a small screen. Now, with the increased popularity of TV boxes, it's easier than ever to put that thought into reality. We've hand-picked five of the best Android TV boxes in 2020. For more information on the products, I've included links in the description box down below, which are updated for the best. Prices, like the video comment and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. Let's open up with Vancouver's Matrix Box. X95A, which is our top Android TV box pick for people who are on a bit of a tighter budget. Apart from being exceptionally affordable, this media streamer actually has quite a few unique features and both superb functionality and reliability. The first and probably most notable feature of the Matrix Box is the Android 7.1 system. If you've done a bit of research, you've probably found that most low-end models operate on obscure and outdated Android software, typically 6.0 version or even older. And the fact that this one supports the 7.1 version means that it runs smoother and way more reliably than other budget models. This TV box set supports most up-to-date high-definition settings such as Ultra 4K, Ultra HD and such. It packs H265 decoding tech, which means that it's capable of enhancing the color quality of any given content. Furthermore, it supports 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi and comes supplied with a built-in 100 meters Ethernet port. This allows you to directly connect your smart devices to it. Its remote controller is very simplistic, but what most people like about it is that it's incredibly easy to use. There is some room for improvement, though. Its performance is relatively sluggish in comparison to most expensive models, and if you're not too keen on being patient and waiting for the loading screen to pass. You might want to consider some other model even Soth Matrix Box is undoubtedly superior to any budget model that the market has to offer due to its consistency reliability and ease of access our next pick is Xiaomi's MI Boxes. Ultra HD Android TV box packed along with Google's Voice Assistant and direct Netflix remote streaming features as our best value pick it's obvious that it sports a couple of benefits that are completely unique to its design and features. The MI Box South has a sleek black design a rectangular box made with rounded edges the reason Ford's boxy design is a larger heat sink that does a much better job dissipating heat away from the internal hardware. Round the back you have ports for power audio out USB drive and HDMI 2A first and foremost the MI Box South works on Android 8.1 software which is merely a couple steps away from the latest Android version 100. It's compatible with basically all the latest applications and supports Ultra HD 4K resolution connectivity Wiseth MI Box sports Wi-Fi 802.1 compatibility a bit outdated Bluetooth version. 4.1 and HDMI port to USB 2.0. Port zone audio out and a petite power interface these features are the brains of the operation but it doesn't really lag much. Behind the brawl per C's for its specs it rocks a quad core 64-bit Cortex A53. Central processing unit MAUI 450 graphics card 2 GB of DDR3 Ramond. 8 gigabits of storage space. It's pretty well-rounded and it actually has a formidable performance for the price. Moreover it supports a huge array of video and audio formats including Dolby 3D and the esteemed FLAC of course. K time equals 0.2s, greater than other standardized formats are supported, such as JPEG, BMB, PNG, TIFF, MOVE, VOB and so on. Of course, there are stronger Android TV boxes on the market and there are definitely units that pack superior software, but Mi Boxes is well worth the money. Its small, compact design, complemented with remarkable compatibility and connectivity is the main reason why we've chosen it as our top value pick. Moving on to the middle price point. Category, here we have Amazon's patented Fire TV Cube. In a nutshell, this is the second generation of Amazon's Android TV box models that came to be due to the huge popularity of its predecessor. The new and improved FireCube 2 became available on the shelves of Amazon's virtual marketplaces last year, and it's one of the first Android 9 TV boxes out there. Needless to say, it comes outfitted with a plethora of top-shelf features and elements that make it a bit pricier than the models we've seen so far. First, 
and most notably, the Fire Cube version 2 rocks the Fire OS version 7 software powered by the trusty S922 hexacore processor. Obviously, with roughly 2 core, it's stronger than most gaming PC rigs. The graphics it comes supplied with are ARM's Malig 52 megapixels 2 EE. It offers solid, consistent performance, and it greatly complements how S922 works in terms of random access memory. The Firecube has only 2 GB of DDR4 RAM, which means that there's quite a bit of space left for future upgrades. What we really liked the most about Amazon's Firecube TV box is that it supports all 4K Ultra HD types of resolutions, while also having a phenomenal refresh rate of 60 frames per second at UHD 2160p. While nearly all of the features that this Android TV box comes supplied with are phenomenal, we would love to see upgraded storage on this unit, namely 16 gigabytes is sufficient. But that's pretty much about it in comparison to our previous pick. We can see another improvement the Firecube rocks Bluetooth version 5.0, which offers enhanced connectivity time and ultimately superior reliability. Speaking of connectivity, this TV box supports 82.11 Wi-Fi and Ethernet cable, and rocks 16 gigabytes of internal storage space. If you're really looking for a substantial upgrade to your home media players, we recommend that you check out B-Link's King TV box. It does cost a bit more than average, but it offers unparalleled features and performance. In turn, it's powered by a Hexagore Amalogic S922X processor and operates on Android 90 software. This alone makes it one of the strongest TV boxes out there. But there's more. It also rocks 4 GB of DDR4. RAM, and 64 GB of internal storage, allowing you to always be ready for updates without disrupting your enjoyment of your favorite shows. The etched alien graphic with green eyes on top of the king had a cool design, and the build quality is great. When you pick up the box, you can immediately notice that it's better built than most of its competitors. It's a very snappy system, and you won't encounter any lag when streaming movies, TV shows, IPTV, etc. It streams 4K videos from YouTube without buffering. The Blink GT King also supports 5.1 surround sound output, which is great for those with the home theater setup. Obviously, as one of the most powerful TV boxes out there, the GT King supports all manners of Ultra HD resolutions, with a refresh rate of 60 frames per second. What's more, it also rocks a dual Wi-Fi antenna design for superior signal and download upload speeds. Now, as you could have guessed, its only downfall is that it's pricey, but it would be more than fair to say that it's one of the best Android TV boxes that money can buy. Let's pull the curtains down with NVIDIA's Shield TV Android TV box. In short, we've declared it as our best overall pick because there is not a single field of performance where it is lacking. Its features are absolutely superb. It's designed in an extraordinary and unique way, and it doesn't cost a small fortune. First and foremost, it features an integrated Dolby Vision HDR as well as Dolby Atmos, technologies that substantially enhance the sonic aspect of everything you're watching. It also sports a built-in voice control system and works perfectly fine with Amazon Alexa software. The Shield TV comes with a total of four ports, with two at each end, one side houses a standard power socket no adapter required in Ethernet, while the other includes an HDMI port and a micro SD expansion slot. It's roughly the size and shape of a runner's baton. At 6.5 inches in length, the all-black Shield TV is designed to be tucked behind your television, and there's not even any lights to tell you it's on. As most people know, NVIDIA earned most of its fame through premium quality CPUs and GPUs, so it's only natural that they're going to equip their TV box with one of their special treats from the hardware candy house. It rocks NVIDIA's patented Tegra X1 CPU, which is among the strongest processors they have to offer. We've already mentioned that it's well-rounded, but what's really so great about this TV box is that it doesn't really present any issues or pitfalls that could potentially ruin your experience. It's almost perfect as is, aside from the fact that an improved version exists. Shield TV Pro Thanks for watching, and that's all for now, I hope, see you guys in the next video, till next time. See you guys later.